Okay, here we go. Today we're going to be talking about the NAT NPX 136D transceiver. The NAT radio is one of two radios you're going to see when you get in your AirTag platform. It's either going to be an NAT radio or a Technosonic. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the NAT. This video is intended for first time view of the NAT radio. Basic functions and basic editing is what we're going to be covering today. All right, let's get going. The main power button is your on off button and your main volume control. Once you turn it on, the NAT takes about 20 seconds to boot up and run through all its check processes. And then it's gonna ask you to hit enter to go into operation mode. Enter. And it's gonna run through the status of everything you have set right now and then go into operation mode. The knob underneath the main volume, the GD, is your guard volume. Right high, left low. That's the volume you'll hear the guard channel. The right toggle, upper right, three modes. Scan, normal, and your guard transmit. So if you want to talk, talk in, on the guard channel or national flight follow, you need to be on the guard transmit. Otherwise, you need to be in normal to talk on whatever air to ground or repeater you need to talk on. The toggle below that is two guards to choose from, usually a, a national a guard one or national flight follow or whatever you have set up for your guards. Today we're going to be in the normal mode. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the display. So the display is a two-line display. When the radio is in operating mode, all data displayed relates to the channel selected. Unlike the Technosonic, no guard channel data is displayed. Okay, the top line displays the channel number, name, and mode. So channel number four, name is COM1, mode is narrow. The tone flag, which is in between the number and the name, indicates what tone mode you're in. If it's blank, all tones are off. If you have the one dash, transmit tones only, and two dashes like an equal sign, all tones are on, transmit and receive. The bottom line displays the remaining frequency data, transmit, receive frequency and tones, and transmit power setting. So we're in transmit 168-1500 with a tone of 110, and we're in high. The display toggle is used to toggle the bottom line between transmit and receive frequencies and tones. So transmit, receive, and there's no tone on the receive, but a tone on the transmit. The menu keys are used to select, edit, and page through menu selections. The alphanumeric keys are used to enter text and numbers much like a telephone. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the channel, how to change a channel. So you have a one of three options. This channel toggle, up or down, well up, up, and down, down. Option number two is the arrows, right arrow up, left arrow down. The third is just punch in the number. So channel 30, enter, and to go back to channel 5, 5, enter. So three ways to change the channel in your display. The toggle, the arrows, or just simply pushing the number and enter. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the menu functions. A little thing to remember here when you're working with the NAT, anytime the radio displays a question mark, use the enter to accept and the escape to decline. So let's talk about the menu settings for the NAT. When you hit menu, there's three options. Settings menu, channel menu, and the main menu, maintenance menu. So let's check out the settings menu. So 
settings menu, enter to check it out. Some options, display, brightness, you can change the display of the brightness up or down depending on your lighting. Menu through the next, menu goes through your list of options. So menu again, transmit power, options high, low, or per channel, we're going to keep it in high. Menu through, transmit mode, duplex, simplex, we're going to keep it in duplex. Menu through, analog tone, transmit only, off, on, we're going to keep it in transmit only so we don't put tones in the receive. Menu through, digital squelch, options are per channel, MON or per channel, keep it per channel. Menu through, power up, this is uh, what channel you want the uh, radio to be on when it turns on. So let's change it to five, zero, five. Or actually, we've got to go down. Menu. Noise squelch, 10. Never really mess with that one. Keep it at 10. Set up display menu. And right, we're right back to where we began. So menu will bring you through every option you have. And if you've made changes and want to save them to get back, you hit escape. It's going to ask you to save settings. Enter. Settings saved. Escape, escape to get out. Okay, let's start talking about how you program the NAT if you want to change frequencies. One of two ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is menu menu to get to the channel menu and hit enter to select. It's going to ask you to edit the main, enter. That means we're working on channel 5 with the receive frequency of 157.98.75. Let's change that to 168.250. 25. Oops. Toggle back. 2500. Menu. Transmit frequency. It already copied it into the transmit. 168, 2500. That's good. Menu through. The name. We're going to keep it air to ground 17, but you use the arrows to navigate your way through the naming procedure. And it's just like a telephone pad. Name, the number, and letters. So. First we'll go through the letters and then the numbers. So we'll change it to air to ground 12. Menu through. It's going to ask you type narrow band, wide band, or digital. We're going to keep it in narrow band. Menu through. This is where you select the tones. Receive tone. Type none. We don't want our tone on the receive. Menu through. Transmit tone type. And in the NAT radio, you want to select CTSS. This is how you're going to put in your tone. So you're going to hit menu through that and choose your tone. And it just shows you the first three the dot, whatever's after the 127 dot, 25 is not going to be there. It's just the first three numbers. So let's go a tone of 110, for example. Menu through. We're back to the frequencies. Let's check it. 168.2500 receive with a transmit of 168.2500 air to ground 12. Narrow band. No tone on the receive. Transmit tone of 110. We like it. Escape. It's going to ask to save changes. Enter. Escape, escape, then you're back to the new channel 5, air to ground 12, nail band, transit of 168, 2500, tone of 110, with the receive of 168, 2500.